Ashcroft manufactures a wide range of switches from 10 inches of water to 20,000 PSI. Please follow appropriate safety procedures as required by your company for the pressure range and medium used. Wear personal protection equipment as required, such as safety glasses. To perform a set point calibration, you will need a pressure source, accurate gauge, a means to monitor the micro switch contacts opening and closing. For high pressures, we recommend using a hand pump setup. For lower pressures, shop air and a simple pressure regulator can be used, or an electronic pressure controller can be used. To monitor the micro switch contacts, an ohmmeter can be used, or a light box. The light will be red when the normally closed contacts of the micro switch is closed and turn green when the normally open contact is closed. The pressure gauge used should have an accuracy of 0.25% or better. The label on the pressure switch to be calibrated will show the range and dead band of the switch. This switch has a range of 100 PSI and a dead band range of 1.5 to 5 PSI. The first step of calibration is to exercise the switch to make sure it is operating correctly. To exercise a switch, start from 0 PSI and increase to full range of the switch, in this case 100 PSI, and then return back to 0. This should be done three times. To measure an increasing set point, start at 0 PSI and increase the pressure to the set point. The light will turn green, indicating the normally open contact of the switch has closed. For this switch, it is 80 PSI. To measure the dead band, slowly reduce the pressure until the light turns red, indicating the micro switch normally closed contact has closed. This is 77 PSI. Therefore, the dead band is 80 minus 77, or 3 PSI. To measure a decreasing set point, start at 0 PSI and increase the pressure to the full range, in this case, 100 PSI. The light will have switched from red to green as the pressure is raised. Then lower the pressure to the reset point. The light will turn red, indicating the normally closed contact has closed. For this switch, it is 20 PSI. To measure the dead band, slowly increase the pressure until the light turns green, indicating the micro switch normally open contact has closed. This is 22 PSI. Therefore, the dead band is 22 minus 20, or 2 PSI. It is normal to repeat set point measurements three times to verify repeatability. For this decreasing set point, you would start by lowering the pressure to 0 PSI and then increase the pressure to full range, in this case 100 PSI. The light will have switched from red to green as the pressure is raised. Then lower the pressure to the reset point. The light will turn red, indicating the normally closed contact has closed. For this switch, it is 20 PSI. To measure the dead band, slowly increase the pressure until the light turns green, indicating the micro switch normally open contact has closed. This is 22 PSI. Therefore, the dead band is 22 minus 20, or 2 PSI. For set points on vacuum range switches, it is best to think of the set point as a negative pressure. So, an increasing vacuum set point is a decreasing pressure set point, and a decreasing vacuum set point is an increasing pressure set point. 